Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Eva and I'm doing mommy lifestyle videos. So if you hear the voice, it's my daughter on the swing. This, this, this is the only way to keep her quiet so I can make the video for you. So I wanted to talk about uh, my breastfeeding journey, how it was, how it is and how it's going to be. I have my phone with me for with nose because it's been quite a while since I stopped breastfeeding and some things just my split out of my mind already and I want to be as much accurate as possible because who knows maybe this video will help someone. She's making a little bit of noises so I'm sorry for that. So this is how it started. When I was pregnant I knew in my heart that what I want to do is breastfeeding. This just seems to be right. It seems to be the easiest thing in the world. It's cheap. I don't need bottles. I don't need mixing formula and water or anything like that. So yeah, that was my plan. I wanted to breastfeed. However, years and years back, I thought this is kind of weird and um, even if it's natural, I I was like, nope, if I'm pregnant, if I have a baby, I am not going to breastfeed. And this is how it changed after I got pregnant and feed that little baby in my belly. So, yeah, that was before I gave birth to my daughter Alyssa. As soon as I gave birth to her, they put her on my chest. But unfortunately, she didn't cry the way they wanted her to do. So they took her away from me like immediately and uh, we didn't breastfeed until she came back to me to, to the room when we went staying. Uh, yeah, so breastfeeding at the very beginning wasn't pleasant. I was a little bit surprised of not only the technical part but also it didn't come as easy as I thought it would. The technical part was just horrible. Like I needed nurses like every five minutes with every single feeding because I didn't know how to put her on the breast. Like she was crying, she couldn't latch, she was doing that uh, motion and she was looking for my nipple and she couldn't find it. So that didn't go well and that was the whole time in the hospital. The nurses even were like, oh, we won't let you go home unless you have like a good latch. And I did get like few good latches, so they let us go. We stayed there for 48 hours. We went home and then the hell started. It was crazy. Like I knew in my gut that my baby is hungry and that my baby doesn't get enough food. But everybody like shush me, no, like that's not possible. Her stomach is so little, she just needs a few few drops of colostrum and that's it. On day three when we went home my milk still didn't come in. And we were nursing every two to three hours, like we supposed to day and night, and she was on my breast for 40 minutes. I remember that. 14 minutes and then she fall asleep then she woke up and cry like oh her cry was so hard and I had no idea why is that like why is the baby crying all the time like I didn't think so that newborn supposed to cry so much I even told to my husband like maybe go to the store and buy some formula because I feel that she doesn't eat enough I also have to mention that when we were leaving from the hospital she had uh, mild to medium jandis and we went on day four to check with pediatrician because I feel like it's a little bit worse so yeah he checked her she was like fine and he asked how many wet diapers she had and we've been thinking thinking and like uh, zero for the last I don't know 12 hours or so and he's like oh no like she needs already four wet diapers by day four and that scared us we went back home and that night she screamed like just screamed there was absolutely nothing what could 
put her down to sleep. So like at midnight or so, we went to PER. We just had to like something was definitely wrong. I was so scared the whole drive to the hospital and then we got admitted to the hospital and what they say that oh maybe you don't have enough milk yet so we will you know put you in and see you know you will pump we will give you the, the mamadella pump you will pump she will feed we will substitute with um, formula a little bit and see what's happening like she needs to pee before we let you go and at that point she was also dehydrated and her jaundice got definitely worse and what's very important at that point at that day four i was praying that they did not ask me to breastfeed i could not handle another 40 minute session every two to three hours when the lunch was so poor and my nipples were just falling apart i still have bruises and she's already three months almost and i still have bruises from those days so yeah we weren't admitted to the hospital i didn't slept for like four days after that constantly feeding and crying time and i was just exhausted so i pumped at that time i was able to pump 15 milliliters which is like what in answers like half of an ounce if you are better with answers and she got another 15 milliliters or half of ounce uh, with formula the next day she finally peed so we could go home and they gave me a phone number to hospital lactation consultant so i could make appointment for us which i did right away after we got home and uh, yeah i think even in the same day we came back because this was also the hospital for the appointment she weighed her she showed me how to put her on the breast everything went good and after that she weighed her again and she only ate like five milliliters like five like seriously like five for 40 minutes and uh, the lactation consultant was like hmm well some babies don't latch very well they don't drink very well they are kind of lazy so what is your plan like what do you want to do and i'm like i want to breastfeed and she's like hmm, i think you have to pump like maybe in two to three months her lunch will get better but for now i recommend you to pump here are some supplements so you can get uh, more milk and yeah we were sent home this was devastating like i'm telling you this was devastating i can't believe it she also checked her you know her anatomy she said everything is fine gave me a bunch of you know papers with like oh you have to do this you have to do that to increase your milk supply and yeah we went home so i was pumping uh, for another two weeks and whoever pump it knows how exhausting it is Oh, and plus, I was still trying to put her on the breast from time to time, but obviously it wasn't great sessions. So yeah, at that time pumping 24 hours, 7, you know, times a week, it was uh -uh, crazy. I wanted to give, I was like, uh -uh, I'm going into a formula. But on week almost three, I went to mothers and meetings you can call it that where was a doula that doula was um, i i attend to her build classes and she was also hosting at her home like a mother mother meeting so we can sit together drink coffee and talk to each other and stuff like that you know, doula like like a doula, they are very holistic and all those natural breastfeeding things are what they recommend and what they support. 
so she insists to see how I'm breastfeeding and uh, I remember she took my daughter Alisa stuck her finger in my daughter's mouth and said hey she has toned and a lip tie and like uh-uh like lactation consultant check that and didn't see anything my baby is a lazy and she made like a face like lazy I'm like okay so the day the day after I took my daughter to pediatrician and uh, got referred to the dentist to, de to get the tongue tie removed and at that point I have to mention that so many people look after in the, in the hospital or the pediatrician himself and nobody seen that she had a freaking tongue tie like you just stuck your finger to your baby's mouth and you will feel it like you will feel it there is no mistake and lactation consultant didn't see it like like what what is she doing and why is she even in this industry if she can't do her job so anyway we got appointment at the dentist yes she did have a tongue tie no a lip tie but tongue tie she got that clipped and uh, we could practice on breastfeeding again but as you know baby was in introduced to the bottle at that age doesn't take very well to breastfeed right so yeah we practiced breastfeeding as often as possible i was still pumping my milk supply was great but you know one day she my daughter decided that she's done with breastfeeding and i feel like there's not much I could do. Sometimes I feel like I should try more. Like I gave up too early, but it was so frustrated for me when she refused me, basically. Sometimes she latched and enjoyed that time together, and sometimes she was like, just give me the bottle, like let's keep that breastfeeding stuff and just give me the bottle. And I was impatient enough. I still had to pump day and night at that time to establish my new supply. I was still taking my supplements. And yeah, that is my journey from breastfeeding to bottle feeding. I am still pumping and giving her my breast milk from the bottle. She's almost three months old. Why I'm still doing this? I think because I don't uh, pump at night anymore, so that's a huge relief. I pump at 6 a.m. in the morning, I pump at 10 a.m., 2 a.m., 4 a.m., 7 a.m., and my last session is around 9.30 p.m. So yeah, this is my journey. I wish it was different. I really wish I knew better so if you have a kid which doesn't latch very well which has some kind of problem and you feel in your gut that something is wrong follow your instinct please follow your instinct if i check her before i am sure i would be breastfeeding now but I didn't. I trust the professionalist. I trust the lactation consultant. I trust the doctors. Like why none of them check her mouth? This is so simple. Like oh, so this is really hard for me to talk because this was so important for me. This was such a roller coaster, like up and down, up and down. But I think I came in peace with the fact that breastfeeding is something what I want to. Maybe something will change. She is still only three months old. She will still latch when I put her on the breast. But at my private um, session with lactation consultant, different one, she also ate like only 60 milliliters, three ounces and uh, she's supposed to eat more during that time and it took her also for a long time anyway let me quickly tell you 
what I'm using for pumping. I am using Medela Style and Pump Advanced, something like that. I'm also using that bra. Like, if you are pumping exclusively like me, buy this. Like, this is a lifesaver. I have free hands, I can do whatever I want, and don't need to, you know, keep those pumps. For the bottles, I'm using Miss Dr. Brown's. Those are my favorite ones. I use uh, Avant by Philips. And that's the only bottles I'm using. I know that they are bottles which looks like a human breast. But I didn't know about them until like recently. Yeah, what else I wanted to mention? Yeah, I think that's it. So, thank you for watching. This was a very important video for me. I wanted to film it for a very long time. And uh, I hope you enjoyed. See you next week. Bye.